Nicola Sturgeon's suggestions an independent Scotland could still benefit from a UK-wide pensions scheme are absolute nonsense, a Scottish Conservative politician has told Express.co.uk. The First Minister has flip-flopped between arguments over who will foot the bill for pensions if Scotland were to leave the UK. Moose Sturgeon claimed in early February that UK taxpayers would continue to fund Scottish pensions post-independence, before conceding this would be unlikely. Tony McClinsky, Scottish Conservative councillor for Cooper, Fife, told Express.co.uk he has to laugh at the suggestion because it's one of the most ridiculous ideas ever. He added, which foreign country pays the pensions of a neighbouring foreign country? It doesn't exist. It's absolute nonsense. It's an attempt to throw into the mix more confusing information to allow them to say something that their faithful will follow. Mr. McClinsky added, the reality is that there is no pension pot. It comes out of current income, and taxes. Scotland will have to pay. He described how there would likely be a negotiation on other areas, but if the SNP were to get to the ballot box for a referendum, they would have to also consider how an independent Scotland would manage job security, mortgage, council services, as well as pensions. Having the answers to these questions is part of the parcel of being part of the United Kingdom, he added. He said. For Nicola Sturgeon and her financial secretary to be claiming that England would be paying Scotland's pensions is just frankly a lie. Dot. Kate Forbes, the SNP finance secretary, stated the UK would pay the pensions of Scottish OAPs in a post-independence country, adding the system would be unaffected after a yes vote. Calling SNP's Westminster boss Ian Blackford the expert on all things pension. She pointed to his comments that commitment to continue to pay pensions rests with the UK government. Nicola Sturgeon then told MSPs that Scottish pensioners would notice no difference in their pensions, claiming Scots would be entitled to the pension contributions they had made to the UK system.